Hello, Dr. Ron England coming to you here from Daytona State College. And um, I'm going to do the next chapter of the menu example. And as you see, as we've developed this, we're really developing some interesting capabilities of, of this application here. So um, what I'm going to show you here, um, and this is all still just using the basic MVC default uh, template in visualstudio.net. But um, what I'm going to do here is I've created a drop down in my view, um, a, a, a combo box. And if I select something from the combo box, let's say appetizers, it's actually going to go out to the server and it's going to pull a whole bunch of data and an asynchronous AJAX call. If you notice, the screen didn't refresh at all. And it's going to pop it into um, a paragraph that is actually here on the page. And let's look at how this is done. And if you notice, this data is in JavaScript object notation or JSON. So that is some really cool capability here. So if you've been looking at the previous lectures, you would have known how I did the AJAX call, where I actually, and, and, and jQuery syntax, jQuery makes it relatively straightforward to do an AJAX call. And so what I'm doing in this AJAX call is I am using the controller, get menu group, um, and I'm going to show you how that works, uh, posting it to it, getting back the data as a text, the ID, um, the data, um, send, sending over the ID of the value, and then I'm getting this data back. And this data coming back here, this data here is not this data here. This data coming back is the response of the call to get menu group. And I'm essentially putting it in, if you uh, look down here, I've got a paragraph called menu group. And essentially what I'm doing, since I went ahead and started using the um, jQuery to do this, I am going ahead and putting the menu group.html and just tossing the data in there. And if something happens, I'm calling a, um, I'm, I'm actually putting an alert up saying that it was unsuccessful. So let's look at the menu group controller where I'm actually calling get menu group. So if I go to that menu group controller here, you'll see that um, I went ahead and got the menu group based on the ID, the data that was passed. I got the menu group associated with this. I put this into a try catch. So I'm basically doing error handling here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Newtonsoft object that's available that does serialization of this object to JSON, JavaScript object notation. So I'm passing back the object menu group. I'm applying no formatting. There are options for doing formatting. I am then, now, one of the things about this object is that there is some looping in the object. So basically there's references in the object to other objects. And I needed to set a serializer setting to ignore that loop handling or that looping so that it wouldn't uh, throw an exception. Relatively straightforward. But to do that, I had to actually create a serializer setting to pass to the serialized object where I'm telling it what to do. Again, not tremendously tricky here. Good examples of how to do this um, in Newtonsoft, um, in the Newtonsoft. Now, um, you do need to have the using Newtonsoft.json up here in your usings to be able to do this. Um, I also did some examples where I converted it to XML. Um, but, you know, J JSON was definitely the most appropriate way to bring this back to be able to use in the document itself. Actually, if you, when you have JSON data coming back, it's relatively easy to handle in JavaScript once it's back on the client. Of course, I'm just taking it as individual text and doing it that way. But essentially, I am getting the menu group, okay, serializing it to JSON. Okay, so now it's a JSON string. And let's look over here. I think if anybody who knows JSON can look at this, even though it's not in real fancy format, I've got a nice little JSON viewer where I've copied the text of that over to the viewer. And if you notice in the viewer, you can actually see the object structure of the JSON object structure in the hierarchical fashion. So it's relatively straightforward to do um, and you know, not hard at all. Okay. So that's the JSON data. Up to you. In your example, once you've got this data back over, it's a JSON string. You can deal with it as any JSON string and parse it however you want. Okay. 
few things that are important. In menu group, I did need to say that the menu group was serializable. Okay, Serializable basically allows you to convert it to a different format. And by declaring it as serializable, it means that you can actually serialize it. Now, that typically means more than you're serializing to XML, but um, regardless of what I'm serializing to, that serializable is important. There's the concepts of serialization, okay? Making an AJAX call, or sorry, making a, uh, an AJAX call to the server, bringing back some data, and putting it into your page, even though in this case I didn't clean it, make it nice, it is easy to do those things. With this capability, you now have a tremendous capability of doing lots of things, understanding how all this works, to do great things in your programming and websites. Hopefully, that you got a lot out of this. Um, we're really getting into some powerful tools now. So, good programming.